Hey, what's up guys? Clint here. And I just wanted to make a quick follow-up video on the React.js portfolio application I put out the other day. Some people were asking me, can we change it from a single page application to a multi-page application? And the answer is yes, we're going to be using React Router DOM for this uh, version six. So what I'm going to do, I have GitHub open here. I already have my, um, my project on GitHub. So what we're going to do, we're just going to clone it. So just follow along uh, step by step if you want to get this done with me. So here we are at github.com. Now I'm just going to put a slash here and search my username, which is FireClint. So I used to be a firefighter, so that's where the name came from here. So I'm not seeing it here. It's uh, called Portfolio App React, I believe. So let's look in the repositories. And there it is right here up top. So what we're gonna do, just click, click this uh, code dropdown button and we're looking for the GitHub CLI command right here. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna copy that, okay? And now let's go into a VS Code here. So I just a blank code editor. And I'm going to press this control back tick button to open up my terminal. And if you're feeling you want to act like a programmer, we can use this terminal here. So let's go ahead and change the directory. I'm going to do this to my desktop. Then I'm going to type these two and signs in. And what that is, it says is if we change the directory to our desktop successfully, it's going to now execute the next command. So I just pasted the GH, um, GitHub repo clone here. And then what we can do is also once more, once we clone the repository successfully, Let's change the directory once more to portfolio, whoa, portfolio app react, which is what we are just now cloning. So this will only take a second. Boom, there it is. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this over. Now, once uh, once you pull this over and open it up, before we can start our uh, development server, we need to install all our necessary dependencies. So the way we do that, we're just gonna type yarn and that's it. I built this project using yard. So that's going to install all of our dependencies here. Boom. There we go. Then let's go ahead and just start our server with yarn start. Let's see. There it is coming. It's coming a little bit slow. Sorry about that. You guys. And so what we're going to do also in the meantime, we can search up react router dumb. And this is it here. Oh, well, it looks like that's looking for version five. I want to use version six. So I'm just going to delete that. Just go to reactrouter.com. Boom. There we go. So we're using version six. The syntax is slightly different. So this is our application here. So right now we're using react smooth scroll so we can click the about and you know, it scrolls down to the different sections here, but what we want to do, we're actually going to remove that. So first thing to install react router Dom version six, let's go into our code editor here and I'm just going to close down my server for now and clear this out. Now what we want to do, is I'm not going to uninstall the the React uh, smooth scroll yet, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to install React Router DOM. So I'm using Yarn, like I said. So I'm going to type in Yarn add, and then this is called React Router DOM. Then I'm just going to type the at sign, and then latest, so we can grab the latest uh, package here. Now let's just have a look in our package.json. There it is, right there. Boom. Okay, so now that we have that installed, let's go into our source, for, source folder. Now, what we need to do is add a browser router wrapper here. So we can actually just delete this react.strict mode. We're just gonna type browser router here. And this is gonna wrap our entire application. So it's asking me if I wanna auto import of yes, of course. Okay, so we're done with the index.js file. Isn't this easy, you guys? Smash the like button if you're liking this here. So what we need to do here, is, and I'm just gonna kind of change this to a fragment here to keep it a little bit easier to read. Now what we need to do, we need to add, we need to import, uh, see routes and also route from react router DOM. There it is. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we need to surround everything with the routes, the routes tab here. So I'm going to put this just under the nav bar and why am I putting this under the nav bar? Well, all of these elements are going to be, we want the nav bar to be displayed on every page, no matter what. So basically, if it's outside, I'm going to go ahead and comment this out here. So whatever is outside of this routes tag will be displayed on every single page. And then inside this routes tag, we're going to have individual routes route. Okay. And then we're just going to give it a path. And then this is going to be the URL. So for our homepage, I'm just going to use this and this is going to be an auto close self closing tag there. So make sure you close that. So this is what I want to be my homepage here. And for our homepage, I just want to display this right here. So sorry, the dogs are in here making noises here. So 
what I want to do here is go in, sorry, lost my train of thought. So this, I want this to be my homepage here. So that is there. So what we need to do is we have an element property here and we're going to wrap this in some curly brackets. And this is where we display our element here. So we just want to display the home just like so. Boom, that's perfect. And I'm actually just going to copy this down for my others here. This is going to be our about. And then we have the skills. We have the work. And then we have the contacts. Now on each separate page, we're going to render out just one of those components. And of course, the navbar component here is going to be on all the pages because it's outside of the routes tag. Now, right now, if we click any of our links, they're just going to go to our home page. And that's because we need to define the path here. So we want to leave home as our home page. And then for the about, I'm just going to type in about or whatever you like it to be there. So this one, I'm going to call it skills. And then we're going to have work and then contact here. Now, it's not going to work properly yet because we need to go into our nav bar component here. There we go. Boom. Close. And now we're using the link um, link element here because that's what we are using with uh, React Smooth Scroll. So we can actually just comment that out or delete it. We're not going to be using it anymore if you're going to be using the routes. And we can actually just, I'm going to delete that. And I'm just going to add an A tag here with the href. And this is where we need to pass through our our, um, our route here. So again, this is going to be the home. Boom, there we go. And I'm just going to call that home. Now I'm just going to copy this here and paste this over my link tag. And this one is going to be about. And then of course we need to set our URL here to about. Now these must match the URLs here and the A tags must match the route and the path here that you define this path property. If not, you will get some errors here. So the next one, let's do slash skills. There we go, slash skills. And the next one is going to be work. So it's gonna be work. Boom. And this one is going to be contact, 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 boom. Now for this project, in case you're wondering, or if you didn't watch the original one here, so basically our nav bar here, I'm going to go ahead and start up our development server here with yarn start. The way I designed this, our, our mobile nav bar is in a separate, separate uh, div here. So we still have these link tags on the second div here. What we need to do is go ahead and change that as well. So we are using the handle click function to close our nav bar on clicks. So we'll likely have to come back and fix that. So I'm just replacing these. That's a little space in there. But we're doing this within our li tag here. And this one's going to be about, about, and might as well just copy these from up here. We'll take that skills and go to back down here. We can just get rid of all that. And then the next one is going to be work. And let's paste over that. And the final one here is just going to be, we're just copying down this a tag. Is going within the list item there. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and let Prettier format it nice and neat for us. Now let's go back to our site here. I'm just going to reload it just in case. Now, as you can tell, as I hover over this home, you can see on the bottom left is to our homepage here. Then if I scroll over the about, you see the link is to slash about. So let's go ahead and click this. Boom. There we go. So everything now is working and you can see at the top bar as our URL changes, as we click on work and then contact and we cannot scroll anymore. So that my friends is how we change a uh, React application, our portfolio application from a single page app to a multi-page app here. So, and just one more thing, I'm going to close this down to a mobile size here because I don't think now if we click on these, yes. Okay. Okay. I think that works. Perfect. I just want to make sure we're not going to need to use the, uh, the handle click function to close anything. So thanks for watching you guys. That is how we convert our, uh, single page application over to our multi-page app. I have a couple more videos coming out here soon in React, so smash the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, you guys.